Hello there. Um, so today we're going to be, there's this tool called the Schlon, um, the scythe in Ireland. And um, I, I have this memory of using it and it's got these like handles in different ways and then you start to spin it and stuff. And so we're going to be doing some grass cutting with that. And, um, and then we're going to do some spinal rolling as well. Uh, so come light your candle. Come, come. So to the layers of you that struggle, oh yes, I have my microphone. Um, layers of you that struggle, the layers of you that, yeah, that just are, just are, and just, yeah, all those layers. Um, somebody that you're putting in your candle today. And just an intention uh, towards something. Um, nice. And you're taking your oil. Nice. How oh, beautiful. Wonderful. So come rest into your child's pose. All the way down, child's pose. Arms are long in front of you or elbows are bent. Just rest your belly down onto your thighs. Noticing the difference between one hip and the other, one side of your spine and the other, one knee and the other, one foot and the other. Maybe you even feel a difference between one shoulder and the other here. And just let all of that settle. Soften just a little bit into your pattern. Awareness, softness, kindness. Maybe including all of you in how you're mapping your body. So that's the strengths of you and also the places of vulnerability. Really allow all of them to be present. Nice, bring your hands forward. And then rounding your back and arching your back. And just feel that, rounding, arching. And can you notice that place of vulnerability now as you're moving? Does it move a bit less? Does it have more sensations? So keep your head so you're still looking down between your hands and squeeze the right side really deeply like your side so it's like you've turned your head to look over towards the right shoulder but your head is still center and all you've done is draw your right shoulder towards your right hip and then try the other side squeeze the left side deeply head stays center and then just oscillate from one side to the other squeezing deeply you should feel the folds as you go <laughs> squeeze and squeeze and then you're going to do a combination so arching your back squeeze to the left Round your back, squeeze to the right. Arching your back, squeeze, round, squeeze. And then begin to flow in a circle. And then circle in the other direction. How do you do that? <laughs> nice, rounding your back, tuck your toes under, push back into your downward dog and just find the length and the stretch back through your legs. Awakening into your calves, opening into the backs of your knees, chest, and drawing your belly and pelvis backwards. Nice, walk your feet forward till your feet are underneath your hips and bring your elbows to your knees. From here, reach your right hand forward and then pull your right elbow back deeply so that you're, you've pulled it back into lawnmower. And then reach your right hand forward, right elbow back, and then forward, right elbow back, and forward. Nice, other side, Pull, reach your left hand forward, elbow back, forward, elbow back, forward, elbow back. One more time, forward and elbow back, nice. So keep both elbows on your knees and then round your back. Arch your back. 
So draw your belly away from your thighs as you round. Arching, draw your belly down towards your thighs. Nice, one more time. Rounding. Arching. Nice, bring both hands to your knees. Rounding. Arching. Rounding. Arching. Nice, round your back, slowly rolling up. And we're gonna roll down along the spine. Um, so, start, so you're gonna bring your hands to your knees for the first few times in this one. And you may stay with your hands on your knees the whole way through, because as we go, it'll get stronger. If you're not using your hands, it gets stronger. So decide what you need to do. So start off by rounding the upper back and just hang with your arms and your head forward. So you feel this sense of there's a, an opening through the back of the body. Bend your knees and bring your hands down to your knees. Here, lift your chest and draw your chin and your nose as far forward as you can and really push into your arms so your arms are straight. And then rise there. So round your back, travel down to your knees and then arching your back, lift your chest and nose forward. So you're in full extension, arms are straight and then you rise. Okay, so rounding, travel down, arching, and then travel up. So you finish the movement before you begin to travel. So rounding, arching, and just find that flow in your body. Rounding, arching, and then we're gonna try the other direction. So arching, traveling down, your hands end up on your knees, your arms are straight. And then from here, rounding, bend your elbows, and then begin to travel up. Arching, draw your hands down to your knees. Rounding, bend your elbows, come all the way up. And just find that flow, arching on the way down. Rounding, coming up. Arching on the way down. Rounding, coming up. So you can continue with your hands on your knees or begin to move down towards the floor. So we're gonna start with the rounding one. So rounding, Bring your hands as low to the floor as they go. Keep your knees bending. And from here, arching, traveling up. Rounding, traveling down. Arching, coming up. One more time. Rounding, traveling down. Arching, coming up. Nice, hands to your hips. Roll deeply out into your hips. And then in the other direction. So I have no idea how this scythe schlon work will work. <laughs> Let's see, okay. So pull your right elbow back so you're, you've made a fist out of your right hand and it's pulled back in front of you. And then have the left arm straight forward in front of you. And so you have to imagine that you're holding on to the, the sticks of a schlon <laughs> or a scythe. And your hands are kind of down towards the floor because that's where the grass is. and your feet are slightly apart so that you have a base beneath you. And then you pull everything towards the right and then you come back to center. So the action is right, right, right. And for me, it depends on which knee I'm bending. So notice you can bend both knees. So you can bend the right knee as a cutting action <laughs> or you can bend the left knee. I find the left knee doesn't give me as much power as bending the right knee. So just feel that. And your whole, my chest is staying really solid. So this is moving into my lower back and belly. So just be careful, be aware as you cut your grass. Nice, other side. So pull the left elbow back, fist is pointing upwards. Make a fist out of the right hand and your chest stays solid. And then you go to the left, left. And my hands are down towards the floor because that's where the grass is. Left, left, left. Yeah, so bending my right knee is not as interesting for me as bending my left knee. Left knee, I feel like I could really kind of hack into the grass and get some rushes, <laughs> get some briars, <laughs> and come back to center. So um, reach down and touch the floor. Just touch the floor out in front of you and then come back up. And then imagine you have a cup of tea in your left hand and reach down and touch the floor with your right and come back up and then reach over towards the right side with your right hand so all the time you have a cup of tea in your left hand touch the floor with your right hand 
Nice. And then touch the floor behind you with your right hand. All the time, you're trying to keep that left hand straight. Other side, change the cup. Have your cup in your right hand. Touch the floor in front of you. Touch the floor beside you. Touch the floor behind you. Nice, come all the way up. Take your cup into your left hand. And then try and reach forward. And as you go, lift your left foot up behind you and touch the floor. So you're reaching a little bit further with your cup in your hand. So your right hand is down towards the floor. Your left hand is holding your cup of tea. And your left foot has gone back behind you. And then come back up. So try that again. Keeping your eye on the cup of tea. Reach your right hand down. Touch the floor. Come back up. One more time. Keeping your eye on your cup of tea. I don't know if I'd ever do this in real life. <laughs> Other side. Hold on to your cup of tea with your right hand. Reach your left hand forward and your right foot goes back. Come back up. And one more time. Right foot goes back. You're holding on to your cup of tea with the right hand. You're touching the floor. <laughs> Come back up. Nice. Cool. So interlock your fingers and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. We're doing loads of standy stuff today. And then just roll so that your arms point towards the four corners of the room that you're in and draw a big circle. Oh, wow. The light's in the sky again today. It's a little bit earlier. <laughs> How amazing. So just rolling. It's this point where I look out the windows and I see these ghostly shapes, which are my geese standing outside the window staring at me. And then roll in the other direction. Rolling. And just here, you know, that sense of what is the yum of this in my body? Nice. Come all the way back. Cool. Super. So yesterday we're doing it. We're going to do it again. So palms are face up. You can hold your fingertips together. For some reason, I kind of do that, end up doing that. So thumb and forefinger together. And then bring your right foot behind the left foot and curtsy. And then both feet wide and then curtsy to the left. And how do you do this? And find your distance, you know. Again, like yesterday, maybe your knee is traveling down towards the floor. Maybe you're just bending your knees. And so in the range of what we can do in our bodies, you're always just working out what is my range in this? What is my capability? What is my wellness? One more time each side. How oh, yum. Come all the way back. Last of the standing movements. So bring both elbows to your knees. And then bring your right fist to the floor and stick your thumb out. And then you're going to do hitchhiker here. So draw your right elbow back over your shoulder and your right elbow travels forward. So your hand comes down. And you're doing hitchhiker. And as you do hitchhiker, squeeze your right shoulder towards your right hip. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hitchhiker with your right hand on the floor. Nice. Other side. Bring your right elbow to your knee. Bring your left hand forward in front of you. Make a thumb and then hitchhiker. How do you squeeze? So more or less we're just getting garden fit doing all this stuff. It's like how do you get ready for the spring in your garden to pull those briars, to clean out all the pots or whatever it is? We're just preparing for that. <laughs> hitchhiker. Hitchhiker. Nice. Just pause both elbows on your knees. So if that felt strong enough, awesome. Or we're going to try both. So both hands to the floor, both thumbs up. And so it turns into country dancing, cutting grass. <laughs> so bend both elbows. And then country dancing down towards the floor. And just feel your chest really moves as you do your country dancing. <laughs> Have a song in your head. Dolly Parton. One more time each side. Super awesome. Bring your hands to the floor. Come sit on the floor. Come lie on your back all the way down. 
landing on your back and just let your we really worked into our bums into our lower backs into the folding and the action into our pelvis so let that settle breath is in your belly and there's sometimes when we're really working hard when i'm out in the garden there's this thing that happens so i'm digging and i'm doing stuff for around an hour an hour and a half and then suddenly there's a voice in my head that says lie down and i'm like really it says yes lie down and i'm like okay and i lie down and there's this glorious ache that emerges from the deep of my belly it's like oh from somewhere in the deep of me and then i stand up and i dig the garden for another hour and a half and then again this voice says lie down and i lie down and it's like it's like this moment right now there's probably this settling through the belly a deepening through the spine so value that lying down and resting in the middle of a job actually creates wellness and wholesomeness. So reach your arms wide so they're resting on the floor. Drop both knees down towards the right. Come back up to center. And then drop both knees down towards the left. And back up to center. Nice, begin to glide. So knees down towards the right, glide your left knee up towards your right shoulder. And then glide towards the left, right knee up towards your left shoulder. And let this massage out anything that we, any tightness, any restriction, any effort that we created in standing, let this massage it out. Uh, so bright. Oh my God, it's so amazing. <gasps> so exciting. If you can see a window from where you are right now, if you're doing this live, it's like a deep azure. Is that like a deep cornflower blue? Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. All the way to land on your back. Squeeze your right knee up towards your chest. Hug it in. It's amazing how we respond to light. You know, that like, oh, wow, <laughs> it's just so exciting. Change, draw your left knee towards you, squeeze it in. Nice, draw both knees towards you, hug them both in. Nice, reach both hands up towards the ceiling. So draw your shoulders a little bit off the floor, tuck your chin in so that it's long along the floor, and then lower one foot to the floor, let it tap, and then come back up. And then lower the other foot to the floor, let it tap. If that felt strong enough, stay there or lower both toes down, let them tap. And draw your knees as close to your chest as you can. Again, one foot only or both toes down and then up. And just find a rhythm or a sense of toe down, squeeze in, both feet down, squeeze in. Maybe you begin to straighten your legs a little bit more. If you're doing one leg, straighten one leg out a little bit more. If you're doing two, straighten out two, or maybe return to just one. Really find the distance that feels like wholesomeness to you. Squeezing in, stretching out, squeezing in, stretching out. Remember, return to just one leg at any stage. I don't know if you can hear the geese there. Or is it just the screaming of your abs? <laughs> yeah. One more time. Nice. And then hands to your knees. Butterfly knees. Knees go wide towards each other wide towards each other wide and towards each other roll in the other direction how oh, wonderful feet to the floor arms are long beside you and flatten your lower back down and then roll up along your spine and as you roll really get a sense of the squeezing of your buttocks the opening of the front of your hips and then roll down along your spine to land. 
and again rolling up and rolling down nice rolling up pause on the up push your heels really firmly into the floor arms reach your arms long and then bring your fingertips to touch straight up towards the ceiling round your shoulders forward really solid into your feet breath is deep into your belly And lowering all the way down. Nice. Drop your arms wide. Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart. For me, always, I, I much prefer flattening my lower back down into the floor in this position. Just having my back arched. Don't really like it. It, it twangs into something uncomfortable. So flatten your lower back down a little bit. Broaden your shoulders. Feel the connection to the floor. Nice. Imagine your thighs are like a book. Close the right knee over towards the left and squeeze the right knee down deeply. Nice. Back to center. And then close the book towards the right. Draw your left knee over. Squeeze it down deeply. Nice. And back to center. Bring your feet to the floor. Hands rest on your lower belly. And just notice all that is well about you. You know, really feel and find your wellness in this moment. What layer of you is well, is comfortable? Where are your resources? You know, can you feel your toes, your fingertips, tips of your ears, the tip of your nose? Can you feel the weight of your body, the clothing that you're wearing, your hands resting where they're resting? the breath in your belly. Really cultivating a sense of a relationship to your wellness in this moment. Nice. So blowing out your candle or staying there for another little while and just allowing yourself to truly rest. You know, see what you need. Some of you do this before you go to bed at night. Some of you do it with me first thing in the morning. So let yourself find your rhythm, your routine, your way of doing this. Oh, it's light. It's amazing. Um, that's exciting. Um, so great. I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, well, my five minutes um movement snacks have started um so there is back bends just a little mini and it's not a back bend it's how to build the strength and resilience in your body that back bends are a possibility in the future because there's so many steps to take in any movement it isn't just like the movement itself is like the end of the journey um so i'm mapping out the journey in these tiny little five minute segments that you can do every day or you can do once a week or depends on how committed you are um, so great. I will see you all tomorrow.